Amazon's not-so-secret frontier artificial intelligence and robotics division keeps going viral as it pushes autonomous humanoid robots toward last-mile delivery. Also, the Chinese unicorn startup Deep Robotics has a brand new robot that can take showers, while a newer Shanghai firm aims to elevate humanoid bipedal locomotion out of the uncanny valley. Amazon is taking big steps toward last-mile automation as it trains humanoids like this Chinese Unitry G1 for real-world tasks. The tech giant launched its Amazon Far Lab in early 2025. As multiple news outlets reported, it was developing software to control humanoids that could one day perform doorstep deliveries. Uh, but news out this morning, they're going to roll out humanoid robot package deliveries. I mean, God, it's kind of scary stuff, right? The Amazon Far team, headquartered across Seattle and San Francisco, is building what reports describe as a general robotics foundation model. The e-commerce leader was one of the first to explore humanoid robotics at scale when it began testing Digit by Agility Robotics for logistics work in 2023. Oregon-based Agility has been mentioned as one of the companies Amazon is considering for its last-mile ambitions. Amazon has been obsessed with automation since at least 2012, when it bought Kiva Systems and deployed its mobile robots in its warehouses. It's deployed more than a million robots that perform tasks like sorting, carrying packages, reaching into shelves, and transporting items across warehouse floors. Analysts report that robots now assist with about 75% of Amazon's global deliveries in some capacity. The company is rolling out its so-called Deep Fleet, a generative artificial intelligence coordination model for managing traffic, routing, and congestion across its massive robotic fleet. As of late, Amazon's frontier researchers have been sharing their findings. They say tackle the biggest blockers in general purpose robotics. The messy gap between human movement and robot execution. Their new system called Omni Retarget is what enabled this robot to flip off a wall and land standing upright. According to the team's paper, Omni Retarget focuses on the interactions that matter, like where the robot's feet touch the ground, how its hands grip objects, and how its body maintains balance. The lab shared this footage of a unitary robot executing tasks from just a handful of human demonstrations. The humanoid performs full-body, interaction-heavy behaviors like carrying boxes across uneven terrain, climbing up platforms, and even parkour-style sequences with jumps and rolls. With the Omni Retarget pipeline, the motions were cleaned up, retargeted, and then used for training reinforcement learning policies in simulations. Those policies transferred zero shot to the physical hardware. As described, the framework basically supercharges the learning of skills that made Atlas by Boston Dynamics go viral. It's a step toward robots that can watch a human do something and then do it themselves pretty much right away. In another breakthrough, the researchers reported doubling a unitary G1 strength without changing a single piece of hardware. The team says it's thanks to its new control system, called Res Mimic, that teaches robots to lift using their whole bodies instead of just their arms. Developed in collaboration with Stanford University, USC, and Carnegie Mellon, the system reportedly boosted the strength of this humanoid from 2.5 to 5.5 kilos, or 12 pounds. The control system works in three stages. First, it learns to move like a real person using human motion capture data. Then the robot's artificial intelligence accounts for real-world forces, adjusting posture and torque in real time to maintain balance and lift more weight. The researchers say the next step is to make the robot recognize real objects and handle more kinds of tasks independently. Meanwhile in Shanghai, Cyan Robotics just introduced a humanoid robot that mimics the way people express emotions with how they walk. Cyan says its flagship humanoid, named Orca, uses a so-called emotional gate large language model for its human-like bipedal locomotion. Cyan was founded near the end of 2023 in China's most populous city, shortly after the Chinese government set a national goal to mass-produce humanoids by 2025 and lead the emerging market by 2027. 
According to Cyan, the humanoid's joints exceed human joint ranges. Cyan already offers its humanoids on JD.com, one of China's largest online retailers, starting between $40,000 and $50,000. In Hangzhou, Deep Robotics says it engineered its second-generation fake human, called the DR2, to survive conditions that would easily destroy lab-bound humanoid robots. They call it the world's first all-weather humanoid. Standing 175 centimeters or 5 feet 7 inches and weighing 65 kilos or 143 pounds, the industrial-grade robot can reportedly withstand heavy rain, mud, and can even take a shower. Spun out of Zhejiang University in 2017, Deep Robotics belongs to a group of Chinese unicorn startups nicknamed the Hangzhou Six Little Dragons. Alongside Deep Seek, whose open-source artificial intelligence model shook Western markets in early 2025. Game Science, the video game developers behind the blockbuster Black Myth Wukong. ManyCore, maker of the world's largest spatial design platform, positioning itself as China's answer to Autodesk. BrainCo, which makes brain-computer interfaces and mind-controllable robots. And fellow robot manufacturer Unitree Robotics whose quadruped and humanoid robots have surged in popularity in the last year thanks to their relatively low entry prices. Deep Robotics has been developing humanoids since at least 2023, when it debuted its first prototype at the World Robot Conference in Beijing. According to the startup, its next-generation humanoid meets IP66 certification requirements. That first six means zero dust is getting in. Second six, I laugh at high-pressure water jets. Ugh, show off. Certified tough, certified dry. It can operate in temperatures ranging from below 20 degrees Celsius or 4 below Fahrenheit to 55 Celsius or 131 Fahrenheit. The robot is not fully submersible like research-grade humanoids like Stanford's Ocean One, but it's built to handle real-world weather conditions on land. It's equipped with Deep Robotics' latest motion control and perception suite, and boasts 275 tops of onboard computing power. Each arm can lift a reported 10 kilos, or 22 pounds, and the robot moves at speeds of up to 4 meters per second, or nearly 9 miles per hour. Pricing is not yet available, but the company's industrial quadrupedal bots go for between $18,000 and more than $40,000. Meanwhile in the U.S., Silicon Valley's most watched humanoid robotics firm just launched its highly anticipated third generation robot. The aspiring tech giant, Figure, is racing to deploy at least 100,000 of its autonomous humanoids within the next four years. For more on the Figure 3 and its stiffening stateside competition, check the related video.